For this video, what I want to do is show you an application problem of vectors. All right, what we have here is a motorboat sets out in the direction north, 65 degrees east, which is going to give us our direction. The speed of the boat in still water is 35 miles per hour, so this is what we are going to use as our magnitude. And if the current is flowing directly south and the actual direction of the boat is due east, we want to find the speed of the current and the speed of the boat. Okay, so it's important to draw a picture to help us understand what is going on. So remember that basically what's happening is we are dealing with our directionality. So this is north, east, south, and west. And since we are going north 65 degrees east, that means that from the north we are rotating 65 degrees towards the east. Okay. And then we would have that we are sail or we are moving at 35 miles per hour this direction. Okay. What's happening is we have a downward force from the current. So the current is flowing downward. And what that does is it forms a right triangle. Okay, so we have a right triangle that is formed between these directions. Okay, so the current is going downward and the boat is going forward in an eastern, easterly direction. So we're going towards the east, this direction. Okay, so what we have here is we actually just have a right triangle, so we are able to just use SOHCAHTOA on this one, where sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and tangent is the opposite over adjacent. So we are going to use one of these to help us find the current and the boat speed. Okay, um, because we have a right angle formed here, to find the angle that is formed between our rotation and the actual forward direction to the east, we would just do 90 minus 65, um, which ends up giving us 25 degrees. So we have a 25 degree relationship here. The current would be the opposite, the boat would be the adjacent, and we are given the hypotenuse. So we are going to use these two right here, sine and cosine, to help us find our information that is missing. So let's start with the current, okay? The current is opposite, so for this one we're gonna use sine. So I can say that sine of 25 is equal to the current speed divided by the hypotenuse, which is 35 miles per hour. So if I solve this to get the current speed, and if you wanted to, you could abbreviate this as C, and this is B, it doesn't really matter as long as you know what you are talking about. The variables are just there to help you. So I would just do 35 times sine of 25, okay? So I would just take 35 sine 25. Do make sure that you are in degree mode because if you are not in degree mode, then you're gonna get the wrong answer. So we would say approximately 14.79 miles per hour. So right now we can see that the current is flowing at approximately 15 miles per hour south. Okay, now we can find the boat speed. That's our last thing that we need to find. And our boat ends up being the adjacent next to the 25 degrees. So that tells us that we're going to use cosine for this one. So we can say that the cosine of 25 is equal to the speed of the boat over 35. So to find our boat speed, we would just do 35 cosine of 25. I missed, it didn't register my five. Let me try that again. 35 cosine 25, which gives us 31.72 degrees. Uh, not degrees, miles per hour. My, okay, so these would be the answers. We could say that the current is approximately 14.79 miles per hour or 15 miles per hour to the south. 
and the boat is traveling 31.72 miles per hour directly to the east. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.